Hey guys and welcome to yet another speed build. It's that time again. We're back. So today um, we have Creek Cottage which is kind of... I'm gonna call it Carpenter Gothic but to me it's slightly leaning more towards Victorian. I don't know why there's something cutesy and quaint about it and I don't know, it ends up being like l lilac and blues and it's very, very cute. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we're back in Strangerville this time. Um, and this, I'm going to say it now, it's going to be my last kind of Victorian Carpenter Gothic, Gothic revival build that I do in Strangerville because after two builds, I'm slightly fried. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but whoa, did I find it difficult to build in this style. I have... I don't know why I build um, Victorians quite often, uh, normally of the brick variety, but I don't know. I don't, it was difficult. It was a struggle, um, but we've done it. We've done two of them, and now I'm going to let myself rest in peace. Um, so this is the last one. I would love, I have another idea for a different type of build in Strangerville, so hopefully I can find the CC that I require for that because it's old CC and I need to find it somewhere because it's not in my game anymore and I think creator deleted the download so but fingers crossed um so if you are new here welcome um this is definitely up for download already on the gallery also there is a link in the description box that will take you to the tumblr post which will list out all of the CC used and you'll also be able to download the tray files there um, this uses very little CC. I was even thinking of doing a CC free version, but I was like, <laughs> I've got, I've got too much stuff to do today. <laughs> There's so much stuff I have to do before I can publish this video. Um, so I was like, no, um, not today, Satan, not today. So, um, it only uses CC from two different creators, which is, um, Hamburger Cakes or Java Bean Dreams on Tumblr and also I think they're called Zeta. I'm going to call them Zeta. That's what I'm going to call them. Um, who is a French um, CC creator. Um, the, of course all the details are there but basically um, I found a Salvadorada kitchen that Zeta did um, for actually I'm going to call them ZXTA. Can I call them ZXTA? That's what I'm going to call them. Um, they did a Salvadorada kitchen. It's based on um, the hut, one of the hutches that came with Jungle Adventures, and they used that texture and put it on a kitchen, and then put one of the marble worktops. I think from the Victorian, from the vampire kitchen, used that worktop mushed the two together and came up with a beautiful kitchen um i'm in love with it you'll see it in this so i'm not going to talk too much about it but i saw it and i was like mm -hmm, i know what the interior is going to be like it's going to be using that so um yeah that's what we went with now i did get inspiration from this off of pinterest as you know um in case you are looking for built inspiration um, and just a whole bunch of pins i am on pinterest I have a page for the channel, so it's pinterest.com forward slash hey Harry. Um, I have a lot of pins, I warn you, okay? So brace yourself, give yourself a good few hours to go through it. I warn you, you may become addicted. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, um, I got this from Pinterest and then I managed to actually find the house on Google Street View. Um, so I looked at the shape and it did have this kind of extra bit coming out the back, but I've changed it. Um, I've added some extra details like the kind of bay detailing on the side. Um, where you see the bay window there and they've got like the extra spandrel part coming out. Um, that is a typical feature that I saw on, on the build and quite a few of the Victorians that I've seen on my travels. Unfortunately, in the game, you can't do a spandrel without it being a room. So 
there's like bits of foundation at the bottom. You'll see when I do the landscaping, you can see there, I have the spandrels and it's still got foundation at the bottom. I will be covering those little pesky things up um, with some landscaping, you know, it's expert, <laughs> expert covering up of the game's limitations. So yeah, those little extra bits of foundation that's poking out there will be gone because they'll be covered in green. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy with the way this turned out. I've got to say I struggled a little bit with the colour scheme. Um, the real one is actually brick, but I didn't want to confuse your brains uh, because Carpenter Gothics are normally, um, hence the word carpenter, normally made out of wood. Um, I know there can be some brick ones, but it's a little bit weird to be Carpenter Gothic and brick. But um, yeah, this one was brick, but I switched it all into wood and um, a little bit of siding as well. So I think I've mostly used maybe in the inside cats and dogs, it's a little bit of seasons. Um, I would think mostly expansion packs. Um, I'm not too sure though, I'm trying to think. Um, if you don't use CC and you're just a devout no CC user, um, I still advise you to get this from the gallery or the um, tray files. By the way, when you download tray files, they do not have the CC contained with them. It is just um, the files you need for the house. So you do have to download the CC separately. Um, but all you're gonna have to do, I would advise replacing the kitchen with um, the parenthood kitchen. And I've only used like a mirror and I think two different chairs um, for the rest of the build. It's really limited CC. I only put a couple of creators in um, and then I switched over. I have got the liberated world objects from Brazen Lotus. Those are the um, shrubs and flowers and stuff you can see me putting in that you don't recognise that aren't in the game. Um, I really, really loved the bl not blue, purple and white flowers that are in the world. Uh, so I had to snag Brazen Lotus's um, liberated objects. What that really means is that I can have her CC in my game build with it and then remove the file and go back in and the plants will still be there because they are from the world. So if you um, have Strangerville already, then the flowers will all be there. If you do put this in another world and you don't have Strangerville already, the plants will disappear. They will, they'll go. So, so not all of them, just um, I've put, uh, there's a few bits of lavender there and the purple and white flowers. But if you've got Strangeville, it will show up in your game perfectly. You don't need to download uh, Brazen Lotus's custom content for them to work. So I've checked that. I went back into my game with the files taken out and all of the plants were still there. And then I uploaded that to the gallery so it doesn't recognize it as CC anymore. Um, I'm not too sure if you can move around the plants when you do that. I think maybe you can move them around but you just can't like clone them and get more of them. Um, I think that's the way it works. Um, anyway, I've cut out a whole load of um, landscaping around the back because it's exactly the same as the front. But of course we had to do a lovely nice little natural pond slash your sims can swim in this but why would they really want to but i have left a space for them to get in yeah you know um so it looks really cute i'm happy with it i managed to actually use a picnic bench which i never managed to use normally so i i would say successful build if i managed to use something that i don't normally um, but right, so enough about this build. Another thing that we need to do today is announce the giveaway. Um, thank you very, very much to SimGuru Kate and EA Game Changers. I have a spare code to give away for Strangerville. So if you don't have the pack already, now's your chance to get it. Um, I only have one code to give away. It's worldwide for um, the game on PC and the link is in the description for the tweet that describes everything about it but basically you need to follow me on twitter and to retweet the giveaway tweet 
to be entered for a chance to win that uh, copy of the game. It's going to be open until Friday the... What was the date? Sorry, totes unprofessional. But you've basically got five days. It's going to be going on till 8th of March, Friday the 8th of March, 11.59pm. That's London time. Um, so calculate it wherever you are. Um, so then Saturday or probably will do it like Saturday morning straight after it ends. I'll be picking a winner and then DMing them on Twitter. So make sure your DMs are open as well. Uh, but yeah, link is in the description. It's all done through Gleam. They pick a winner for me at random when it's over. So we're, we're all legit, if you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, so we moved on to the inside. This is basically why I did the build to use this kitchen. I saw it, it's, I don't think it's even a new thing that they put up, but somehow I missed it and I, cause I follow them as well. I don't know how I did it, but I managed to miss it. I think they even made that kind of orangey coral color on the kitchen by matching it to this wallpaper. So I'm just like, oh, I'm dead. It looks beautiful. I must say the windows look gorgeous. Um, oh, they the sunlight coming in through the windows there is just stunning. And I, I love this kitchen. I love um, sometimes trying to use color on the kitchens. You know, sometimes we can get caught up and always having white, boring kitchens. I'm gonna say white boring for this one. The next build will probably have a white boring kitchen in it as I like to put it in air quotes. Um, but for this time we're doing color. Yes. Um, so yeah, the next build up will probably um, be of the French variety. Um, I have a couple French builds planned. Um, of course using Felix's content because it wouldn't be French without it. Um, but yes, one of them is quite a colossal build of a many a part and also not just from me, it's going to be a collab uh, with a few of my very good friends. So fingers crossed uh, that happens within the next week or so. If that doesn't happen quickly, I'll have to do my other French build to fill the time. So there may be a slightly longer gap than three days until the next build because it's gonna be a big one. Um, I might actually, I've got a dorm room like speed build thingy. Um, I might put that up in the meantime just to keep you, keep you going. Um, but yeah, so very happy with this kitchen. I think it looks so cute. Um, the floors are from the spooky Halloweeny pack. What's it called? Spooky day? It's not spooky day, is it? I don't know what the um, pack is called, but the spooky pack. Um, I didn't have that pack for ages, ages and ages. And then I think I, I think it must have been when I started YouTube that I decided I need all of the packs, all of them. Uh, so I got it, but I must say that floor from Spooky, the Spooky pack is delicious. And if it's on, if you don't have the Spooky pack, then I advise you to like wait till it's on sale or something on Origin and get it just for the floor because the floor is delicious. Um, I do have, I think, some recolors by Picture Amoeba of that floor. It just, I love it. It's so rustic and lovely and floorboardy like. Um, to me, not spooky at all, it just looks rustic and I use it quite a lot, not gonna lie. Um, but I'm really kind of missing my modern interiors. This again is kind of cottagey, homey, not offensive we'll call it interior very cute and cozy and all all that um but i really want to do some modern interiors i want my basically i want my peacemaker back in my game need my peacemaker cc <laughs> please um he did this um uh, luck set that i i am yet to use and i just i just want it um I just, I just, I just need my modern back, you know. Um, I could have done one of these like super modern, but I don't know why something just wasn't clicking to make them modern. They're more kind of like cozy homes. I think a modern house uh, in Strangerville would look really good as well. So I do have plans for a modern type home. 
Um, as I said, I just have to find the CC, you know, all, all that jazz. Uh, but anyway, we're moving on now to the living room. Um, the colour just changed from that very strong blue. I'm not too sure what I was thinking about that strong blue, but it does go. Um, and we're using... Th it's the first time I've used the fireplace. This colour does not stay either. I, I, quite, I find it quite disgusting. Um, <laughs> we're using the fireplace that came with the free holiday patch thingy, my bobby. And um, I really like it. I wish someone... I'm, I, someone must have done this but made the back of it have a mirror do you know what i could even do that why don't i do that no it's too much um i am like fast approaching 2000 followers on tumblr and i'm trying to think of like a piece of cc to make that's quick um some kind of mesh edit or something to give away to say thank you for 2000 followers on tumblr if you have any suggestions is there a piece of cc or some kind of edit you think you need from an object in the game let me know because i'm right out of ideas um because i want to do something to celebrate over there but we don't know um also um the channel at the moment is fast galloping towards 10k subscribers this youtube channel um and I always said to myself, at 10k, I was going to do a build challenge. So, <laughs> I need to think about what the hell I want to get you guys to do. Um, are you guys interested in a build challenge? I will be contacting Kate to get some codes to give away for the winners of that. Um, but yeah, I really want to do some kind of build challenge. Um, like, give you... A brief and everything like it's a little design job into a in not interior like an architectural design job um I think that'd be really cool I always wanted to do one to renovate Oasis Springs into mid-century modern maybe this could be the first one I'm not too sure but I really really want to do a build challenge so let me know if that is something you'd be interested in doing because you know it's all well and good doing a build challenge and then when no one enters you're like hmm well this is this this is awkward and when the crickets and the tumbleweed start flying flying by and you're like oh no um, so yeah there'll definitely be prizes for that but yeah thank you so much to everyone for all of the um, continued support since I quit doing twitch uh, YouTube has really, really, really picked up quickly um, to the point of I haven't even been able to start making any CC whatsoever because YouTube has just taken over. Um, hopefully next week I can get the balance because I'm not going to lie, at the beginning of this week I was in a build slump and I was just like, I don't know what to build. Yeah, I'm one of those people that has like too many ideas. As you can see on Pinterest, I have like a thousand pins of classical buildings well not classical build class classic style buildings um that would be look great using felix's cc and whew, a thousand pins is a lot to go through and to pick one thing out that you want to build so i'm someone that is a constant i want to do everything and then i don't know where to start and then i don't do anything at all um, so I was doing that this week and I forced myself to edit Hogsmeade, um, Manor a video, which I think was a, a very good idea, um, because you guys seem to love that one. So thumbs up. I actually did something with the week. And then, um, I think the next day after that was out, I started doing this build and I think I've done it over a period of maybe three days which for a 30 by 20 lot is a is a long time i'm not gonna lie i think i was a little bit distracted i'm sorry um but yes i was gonna do at the beginning of this video um like a warning saying warning my first pet stuff <laughs> items have been used within this build um but I, I can't be that shady today. So, um, yeah, but I've used my first pet stuff in this bedroom. I've got to say, I know it's a DLC for a EP and everyone hated on it, but I won a competition <laughs> and I got uh, my first pet stuff as 
the prize and I would have never paid for it myself but the items in it are so cool for kids bedrooms nothing about it for me is like pet related like I don't use any of the pet items um oh god do you know what I forgot I was gonna switch out something and put the hamster in this build but I forgot whoops um but yeah I, I never use the hamster in gameplay um but all of these kids uh furniture items that actually go with some of the items that already came with uh, not seasons cats and dogs they're beautiful like they're so kid like and like cute and like look look at them the desk and the bed and the bookshelf they're so so cute and um the large like cuddly toy things the cat and the is the cat and the dog from isn't no that's from cats and dogs isn't it yeah anyway the curtains which are just a recolor of base game curtains Shh. um but yeah the, everything is so cute with that so i use it for my kids bedrooms and i would like to apologize for those of you that did not buy the pack therefore do not have the items and refuse to buy the pack so the bedroom won't look the same but my kids the my kids bedroom stuff would look great as an alternative in there as well um so we're on to the last bedroom that is in this place um did a teenage bedroom i think it's pretty unisex to be quite honest um a boy or a girl could be in this room um the bed i do swap that seasons bed we need some recolors of the season stuff i keep on saying it but the seasons like furniture items are so nice like that bed is really 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 nice um so is what else was there um like there were some modern sofas and stuff but the swatches are just disgusting like i i oh. And the thing is, I haven't seen anyone do recolors of them, which I find baffling. Like, no one's done it. Maybe I should do that as my... Maybe I should do that as my 2,000 giveaway. 2,000 uh, followers on Tumblr giveaway. Oh, maybe I should. Oh, that's a good idea, isn't it? Oh, god damn it. But I don't have a colour palette to do it in. <laughs> um, another idea I had for that gift on tumblr was going to be um the vampire kitchen i started recoloring that ages ago and um in my own color palette and then i'm like no i still don't know if i like my own color palette i think i want to change it up a little bit have less colors in it because it had like 30 something colors it's just too many seriously if you have that many colors you drive yourself crazy on <laughs> doing the recolors so um i think i might do the vampire kitchen in felix's uh georgian palette and then it will all match my heritage collection as well so you'll have a kitchen to go with that so i think that's a kind of good idea let me know does it does it sound good i'm not too sure um but yeah so we're on to the last room it's the bathroom thank you so so much for watching don't forget details for how to download this and all the cc and the giveaway is in the description and i'll see you all very very soon bye guys <laughs>